it was about time to reach Valkyr's boot and uh, Computex 2024. Dario from PC Crazy here. You already know what I'm going to talk about, but we have more than just AIOs. We have cases, CPU tower cores. You actually saw one already, but we have more varieties over here. So let's deep dive into their boot and check out everything that they have this year, which will be oh, hopefully very soon available. So. First of all, let's talk about the CPU tower cooler with an LCD screen. Currently, it's in this position and in this state. But looking forward to seeing this one on the market because the visual aspect is outstanding. The LCD screen looks quite nice. You could definitely do wonders just like uh, on the other AIOs that we had, like Scene 360. And uh, the fans are different, but we'll touch base that later on. Let's just go through these. Uh, this is the one that uh, I already reviewed. As you can see, familiar uh, cover, familiar familiar fans, and you already seen the reviews, benchmarks, and everything. Now, this one we didn't review. Two heat sinks, two fans. We have six heat pipes going to the bottom to IHS of the processor, and uh, this is a bit different. There will, there will have varieties, different color schemes, themes, and stuff like that. But the interesting part, we have headsets. And finally, a brand that created a headset that doesn't re resemble to Logitech or it doesn't resemble to HyperX. We have a completely different design, kind of swivel part over here. Magnetic covers, so they can be most likely, hopefully, modified. Detachable microphone, two buttons on the left side, let's see. We have Type-C connection for charging because it's wireless as well. We have two. This is for power on. Power on. We have adjustment for the microphone. Additional 3.5 millimeter jack. Leather. I think they're all leatherette. Yeah. But the actual specs, uh, hopefully when they come for review, uh, then everything will be done. And of course, we have some uh, additional models over there, which basically it's just something that well most of you guys wouldn't be that much interested these ones well basically the black and white are the most interesting ones because they look quite nice i mean red and black and uh light blue or this is uh, like turkeys with white definitely looks outstanding now what we have right here as i mentioned we have a case and not just any case this is vk02 deluxe from up here Check it out. It has a screen on the front, and I think this is 10 inch screen. I think this is 10 inch screen, which is also very sensitive on the touch. So you can basically turn on and off your uh, volume microphone, and you have possibility to add here shortcuts all through Valkyrie software, which is quite in handy. But then we go with the front panel fully opened. Maybe it could be opened a bit more, you know, just to get that more air, but it's at least it's not completely closed. Possibility to place fan here at the bottom, or if you go with a custom loop, uh, pump or combo, something like that. Then we have, this is not an exhaust, when we're talking about the fans. These are actually reversed on the front, reversed on the side to create the intake. And then we go with the rear as well, 120 top 360 radiator. And I'm quite curious uh, what could have been done at the top if we could actually maybe squeeze in, I'm not quite sure, a 420, but that's not the pro. That's not the issue. The best thing, we have a new AAO right here. As you can see, it has a large, large uh, screen right uh, on the pump lock top. Uh, it looks definitely interesting. The new fans are looking really sharp. And uh, as well, we have uh, some RGB line here at the top that can be controlled with a visible RGB header that's all connected. Now, the pub block top looks quite interesting, quite nice, covers everything around the CPU. Uh, quite nice design, actually, compared to uh, some parts uh, that are on some other products of theirs that are all written like something like this you know, with anime and all the other stuff. This is actually quite clean, nicely designed. Uh, let's say monochromatic colors, nothing too drastical that will point in your eyes or I don't know, something similar to that. This is very clean, very nicely designed. Then we go with the second model. We have 
Another AIO, again, very nicely designed when we're talking about the round shapes and, um, well, not the round shapes, but the shape around, very nice black uh, gloss panel. And uh, we have a much smaller screen right here, which actually does look quite nice. And then we go with the new case as well. We're talking here about VK03, which has a screen here on the side. Also adjustable through VK software. 3120 fans on the power supply shroud, three on the side, 360 radiator on top, 120 at the back. Uh, this is uh, also removable, so this is really cool. Power on button, Type C, standard Type A, 3.5 millimeter jack, loads of openings here at the front, and of course, we have an opening at the back side, fully meshed top, which is actually what we're after. Some keyboards and mice, but we'll get to that part quite shortly. Then we also have the white version. As you can see, it also has a quite nice large screen, touch screen. I think it is 10 inch. Again, graphics, some of you will love them, some of you won't, but that it's all up to you to decide. I think the best thing is to make them as an accessory if you actually want them, and that's basically it. So. Three on front, three on the side, three on the top, and one at the back, giving you possibility to adjust every airflow possibility as you can think of. And we have a new AIO as well right here. Three six here. I don't know if there's going to be uh, some other. This is V Light three sixty. It has a cap that is magnetically removable, so you can see the connectors here at the back. We have some PCB design, which definitely looks cool. And you can rotate it as you wish, depending on the orientation of the tubes and uh, everything all uh, together. There we go. Quite cool. It actually has an LCD screen here on top. You have uh, this knob to adjust the settings, which actually goes to the point where you enter the settings and you can adjust the brightness of the RGB, you go back and you can adjust literally everything, including getting the time or something similar to that. Well, here design, typing everything here. And a cool thing is a mouse. So it's wireless. You have this dock, which you, you charge your mouse. So it's always near your table. Two left side buttons, regular combination of everything. And we have possibility 2.4G off and Bluetooth. Also, DPI adjustments, and yeah, that's it. At the end, we have their new keyboards, and the ones that actually really stick out are these ones without additional graphics and very clean with prints on the front. I think these will be quite epic to test out and to check and see uh, how they actually function, to see what they have inside, what switches and all the other details. The rest are, as you've already seen, a couple of uh, graphics specially designed. So Lubu, Zoyuan, Merlin, Mist, and another Merlin. So loads of varieties, but these two are most likely going to be more visible in future reviews and similar stuff. And that's basically a wrap for Valkyrie's boot. Uh, definitely looking forward to their new AIOs. And of course, they're secret our approach to check out the performance because scene and uh, yarn and well, basically all three that I had did an outstanding job while performing on varieties of processors. But also can't wait to check out their AIOs in their cases to see how they actually perform when you put them in their own cases. So VK02 Deluxe and VK03. Stay tuned, guys. Definitely going to check them out in the review. So don't forget to sub and like. See you next time. Bye.